you are welcome to Day Tutor Academy, where we feature free video tutorials to help you understand the fundamentals of mathematics and the science subjects. We have comprehensive solutions to numerous past questions from various exams, including WAHEC, NECO, GCE, JAMBUTME, GED, and IGCSE. These are aimed at preparing you to ace your exam with flying colors so that you can successfully build that great career you have always longed for. All you have to do is to just subscribe to Data Academy and turn on that notification bell so as to set yourself on a path to excellence. And with that, we can head over to our video for today, okay? Without using mathematical tables or calculator, we have to simplify log to base 2 of 8 plus log to base 2 of 16 minus 4 log to base 2 of 2 all divided by log to base 4 of 16. Now, one rule of logarithm that will help us a lot is to know that if we have logarithm to a particular base, let's say a of the particular base again raised to power, let's say m, this will be the same as m log to base a of a and log to base a of a is 1. So this will be m. If we are to employ this and try and apply it in this particular equation, we we'll see that it's going to be easily simplified for us. Maybe in a subsequent video, I'm going to work out all the questions from this particular past question that can be solved or that can be confirmed with your scientific calculator. But here, let's just go ahead and obey the rule without using tables, without using calculator, less of this. So, if that is the case, we are going to have log to base 2 of 8 is the same as log to base 2 of 2 raised to power 3 because 8 is 2 raised to power 3, okay? Then plus log to base 2 of 16 will be log to base 2. 16 is 2 multiplied by 2 in 4 places, okay? So that will be 2 raised to the power 4. Then minus 4 log to base 2 of 2. Alright? Then we have all of these being divided by 16. So we can just have this. We are dividing it by log to base 4. 16 itself is 4 raised to the power 2. Okay? Now, once we have this like this, we can easily, like I explained before, like I explained here, we can just apply this rule that since this base and the logarithm we are looking for, they are the same. In short, 3 can come out and this will just be 1. So if I'm bringing the power forward, what I'm going to have is 3 multiplied by log to base 2 of 2 plus, here, yeah, I'll bring the 4 down. 4 multiplied by log to base 2, also of 2, okay, minus 4 multiplied by log to base 2 of 2, and you can see, this 4 log 2 base 2, 4 log 2 base 2, they will just subtract each other, okay, then I can divide everything by, yeah, the power can also come down, so I have log to base 4 of 4. Like I explained before, this is nothing but 3 multiplied by 1 because log to base 2 of 2 is 1 over 2 multiplied by 1 because log to base 4 of 4 is 2. And with that, you can just see that that means our answer is 3 over 2 or you can say it is 1 whole number, 1 over 2. So, as requested, we solved, we simplified this particular expression that we are giving in logarithm and the final answer is 1 whole number, 1 over 2, that's 1.5. So that's all we are going to be having in our lecture today. We hope that this will be of benefit, of use to somebody out there. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We have a lot of resources that you can use to enhance your academic excellence. And that's our desire, that you go out and be the best. And as you do all this, we know that all will work out together for good. Until next time, God bless you.